I'm Melinda Cromey. I'm a PhD student in mechanical engineering at Stanford University. My work here is supported by the Stanford Interdisciplinary Graduate Fellowship. And what that means is that I have the freedom to explore a problem that's really at the intersection of muscle mechanics, muscle biology, and developments in optics and optical microscopy. The problem that I'm focusing on is looking at sarcomeres, which are the tiniest contractile elements of skeletal muscle. The Stanford Interdisciplinary Graduate Fellowship Program awards three-year doctoral fellowships to some of our most talented graduate students. They're pursuing research that transcends traditional disciplinary boundaries. One of these students, Melinda Cromey, is doing path-breaking research. She's developing a biomechanical approach to the study of muscles. She's creating a pioneering technology that draws concepts and methodologies from a range of disciplines. This is the setup that I use to study sarcomeres in human muscles. If your muscle was the size of a football field, a sarcomere would be a single blade of grass in the football field. The real clinical driver for why we're studying these is to get a better understanding of motor control diseases. So these are things like stroke and cerebral palsy, among others, where someone is stuck in a certain position. In these diseases, there's a loss of the range of motion, and the range of motion is controlled by sarcomeres extending and contracting. So what we've made is a motorized arm brace that will start with the wrist in an extended position and then move it with the motor down slowly into a flexed position and then I'll be able to image how the sarcomeres are changing over that range of motion. And then this will also help us to guide the treatments of this disease and give us an evaluation for uh, perhaps emerging drug treatments or therapies that could be used in these patients. I am very passionate about my research. I love combining the mathematical techniques and the experimental techniques from engin my engineering background to problems in the biological world. And I also enjoy sharing those new things that I'm learning with students and inspiring them to be interested in science and the positive impacts that science can have on the world.